It's the Refined Reseller. Thank you for tuning into my YouTube channel. I really do appreciate it. And Chewy, thanks so much for the ride in the Millennium Falcon. This is really cool, but whatever you do, please don't wreck. All right? <laughs> cool. All right, so as you may know, I am a member of a number of Facebook, eBay seller groups, and in those groups, I see some really whacked out things. Uh, Chewy, do you know what whack means? <laughs> yeah, I figured you did. I mean, you can drive this thing and I can't, so you're a pretty smart dude. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you some of those whacked out things that you shouldn't do. You can learn from this video, but before I go to it, I hope you take the time to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post a new video. So let's go. You ready, Chewy? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. So here's the very first one. I want to sue eBay over a current case. A customer bought a lot of 70 items of custom return electronics, but the buyer who bought my lot said most of the items were broken. I know they weren't, and I have pictures to prove it. So now I'm going to lose $50 in shipping, and I'll have to give back the $815, which was the amount for the lot. The disputes team at eBay looked at my case and ruled in favor of the buyer. I should sue eBay because they are not being fair towards me, the seller, at all. Sure, uh, go ahead, sue them. I hope you have a really good lawyer and best of luck. Here's an eBay seller who bought custom return electronics and he probably did not test all 70 of them. He just took pictures of them. And here's a word of caution. If you are an eBay seller and you plan to sell used electronics, you have to make sure they work. I would caution against doing it at all, and here's why. Let's say you sell an electronic that you tested, you ship it out to the buyer, the buyer gets it and says it is not working. So guess what? eBay is going to side with the buyer and you will have to accept that return almost 100% of the time. So this eBay seller wants to sue eBay. He has absolutely no chance in the world of winning just a frustrated buyer who probably should not be selling used electronics. Here's the next one. eBay just removed my auction for six vintage Dr. Seuss books claiming they had offensive content. Can someone inform me of these six offensive Dr. Seuss books? It's a shocker to me. You heard that, Chewy? It's a shocker to that seller. What the seller doesn't know is that these books have been banned from eBay since March of last year. And just to know, if you are not aware as an eBay seller, here are the six books. The Cat's Quizzer, Scrambled Eggs Super, On Beyond Zebra, McElliott's Pool, If I Ran the Zoo, and to think that I saw it on Mulberry Street. Stay away from those six Dr. Seuss books. Do not list them on eBay. Here's the third one. Is below standard being imperfect? On the seller dashboard, I have several below standard qualities, but I have 100% positive feedback for the past four years with 1,500 sales, and nearly all of my buyers that leave feedback are delighted. They give me full stars and some say I'm one of the best sellers on eBay, but that's not good enough for eBay. So how many millions, millions of sellers are below standard so they can be charged more by eBay? Well, your buyers can call you the best seller in the history of eBay out of all of the million and millions of sellers, but you know what? It doesn't matter to eBay what your buyers think of you. If you're below standards, it's your fault. It's very clear what eBay requires. So let's go on over to my eBay seller hub and I will show you how you can check your seller level. Here I am on eBay seller hub, my seller level, it says top rate. I'm gonna click this right here and it's gonna give me all of my information that I need to know. My past seller level, I am top rated. My current seller level, I am top rated. If I were to be evaluated today, I will be a top rated seller. So let's go ahead and look where I am exactly. As you can see, my transaction def defect rate 
is 0.37%. It's five out of 1,362 transactions. When I click this down, it will tell me that to be above, or I mean top rated, I have to be below a 0 0.50, which I am. I am at 0.37%. If I get two or three more, probably I may go over the threshold of 0 0.50 and be above standard and not top rated. So I'm not going to let that happen. I'm going to do the best I can not to. When you look at my sh uh, late shipment rate, it is at 0.30%, 4 out of 1,352 transactions were shipped late, which is not too bad. Again, I have to be under 3% and I am at 0.30%. So really no worries there. If I continue to scroll down, cases closed without seller resolution, zero cases out of 1,362. Tracking uploaded on time and validated, 293 out of 295 transactions. I'm assuming that is the last uh, 90 days is what I'm thinking. I have to be below uh, or above 95% to be top rated, which I am. I am at 99.32%. That's about it. That is where you can see all of your seller uh, ratings and how you are doing. Um, if, you, if you're not checking these, you need to do so because you've got to know where you are as an eBay seller. I think I uh, mentioned that earlier. Here's how you can check it as I just showed you. Just go down to uh, your eBay seller level and you can see exactly where you are and hopefully your top rated past current and will be in the future just like me. Here's the next one. This is the biggest joke ever. I mean, it really is. eBay restricted my account for using stock pictures. No appeal possible. Of course there's no appeal possible because this is one of eBay's number one rules. You can't go on the internet copy and paste a picture and put it in your listings. You will be restricted or you may be suspended. And here's what eBay has to say about it. Copyright content from other websites or internet searches may be considered copyright infringement. You can't go and steal someone else's work. So don't go copy and paste a picture and put it in an eBay listing. You will not get away with it. So what do you think about this, Joey? Pretty much fun? Some pretty whacked out things some of these sellers are doing, right? Cool, well, let's keep going. I have been selling on eBay for 20 years and can't seem to resolve my problem. Hope someone has advice. I listed an item today, it was removed, and I was put on probation. There are 27 of the exact same items listed. I spoke to an eBay rep and their solution was that all the ones listed were also probably prohibited and that I should report them. This is just too crazy. I don't know what to do. Well, there's a lot to say about this and there is a response on here from another eBay seller and that response is absolutely perfect. So I'm going to read to you what the response to this was by another eBay seller. Here we go again, another, I've been selling on eBay for 20 years and I don't understand why, fill in the blank. How can you have sold on eBay for 20 years and not understand this? The classic example is the speeder who gets caught while speeding while others do not get caught. Should you who was speeding and breaking the law be forgiven simply because someone else managed to skate by because the cops just did not see them? It doesn't mean they were wrong in stopping you. So again, you got caught, the other 27 did not. They will eventually be caught because someone will report them. Now you have to remember there are millions and millions and millions of products for sale on eBay and some do slip through the cracks. Don't let this happen to you by selling an iffy item that may or may not be allowed to be sold on eBay. Make sure it can be before you list it. Now there's something else that this eBay seller wrote in response and here it is. It is true. You're not going to like it, but it is pretty much set in stone. And here it is. The basic rule is rule number one, the boss, that's eBay, is always right. Rule number two, if the boss is ever wrong, see rule number one. eBay allows you to sell on their platform and you have to play by their rules. 
that's what I have for you today. Just some examples of some whacked out things some eBay sellers have done. Pretty cool stuff, right, Chewy? <laughs> Yeah, I thought you would like it, and we're going to do this again. Again, thanks for the ride. I really do appreciate it. He's a really safe driver. I mean, we avoided some asteroid fields. We didn't hit one of those asteroids, so thank you for that, Chewy. I really do appreciate it. <laughs> this is The Refine Reseller. Thanks for tuning in. I really hope you learned something from watching this video. If you did, I hope, to take, I hope you take the time to like it, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post a new video. As always, do like me, buy low, sell high, good sourcing, good selling, and me and Chewy will see you next time.